Two local nursing homes are on a Medicare watch list tonight. State records show conditions inside are unhealthy and in some cases dangerous. Investigative reporter Amanda Smith went through dozens of documents today and uncovered some shocking details about the conditions inside these buildings. The state has sent numerous reports to the operators of Campus Healthcare in Liberty and Greenbrier Center in Boardman. But after months of no change, the nursing homes have been added to a special watch list. Christine Coiner has a friend at Greenbrier. She says she's glad the state is looking into the nursing home. They will not out, uh, allow him any type of physical therapy and he would pay for it out of his pocket. So basically he sits in a chair or in his bed 24-7. At Campus Health, state inspections found piles of human waste sitting on the floor. And at Greenbrier, an employee who was accused of stealing medications from patients. In several cases, patients were injured or placed in immediate jeopardy by the conditions in the homes. The state is now watching very closely. Between insurance and Medicaid, nursing homes receive between five to eight thousand dollars each month for each patient. Because the last thing we want to see happen is that taxpayer dollars are going in to provide bad care. If the nursing homes don't improve, they will be cut out of the Medicare program. The Area Agency on Aging sends advocates into the nursing homes on a regular basis. Those ombudsmen say people should contact the agency if they have questions about their loved ones' homes. And find out what kind of cases are open at those uh, nursing homes. What are they seeing when they, when they go in there? I visited both nursing homes today. No one would speak to me about the federal report. In Boardman, Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates.